guys, what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive, and today I'm gonna be helping you diagnose uh, smoky cars, okay? So if your GTI, specifically your 2012 uh, Volkswagen GTI, but if you have any similar car with uh, smoky engines like this, uh, I'm gonna try to help you figure out what's the problem uh, in this video. Yeah, that's not good. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. So automatically, uh, when this car started smoking, you know, my head started going to the worst case scenario and thinking, well, maybe we blew a head gasket. And the reason why is because whenever you have a lot of white smoke, is because you're burning coolant. So the first thing I did was I checked all the coolant levels, all the oil levels, everything. And we had just, uh, you know, just enough coolant. Like the coolant was not burning out. It was right at the original spot. We didn't lose any coolant. So I'm like, okay, then it's not coolant. Uh, our oil was low. Um, it was uh, definitely leaking some oil. I can see some oil by the turbo. I can see some oil going in near the intake. But again, we had no engine lights on saying any overheating issues or, or nothing like that. So because we had no engine lights on, I kind of canceled out the obviously overheating or head gasket issues. And then uh, we decided to go with something called the oil separator, okay? We're just gonna take this cover out here. And I'm looking at this PCV here, the valve, uh, the oil separator you can tell there's a hose going this way uh, in here and the secondary hose it's probably hard to see going this way in the back here and I can tell there's oil here as well so uh, maybe the oil separator is not working well so what I decided to do is just get a new PCB valve oil separator I believe for most cars you can get them on Amazon for probably 50 or 60 bucks uh, but I, I wanted it right away. Uh, our local parts delivery place is probably about $80, but at least you can get it the same, the same day, okay? Generally speaking, when you diagnose those cars, it's always better to kind of start with the cheaper, uh, the most affordable way first before you think worst case scenario. And, uh, you know, it makes sense that if that PCV valve is not working right, that we can end up um, having an issue of burning oil and that kind of stuff, right? or smoking from the back of the vehicle. Let's see if we're right. We'll try changing that and you'll see if it worked or not. So as you can see, the car is running. It's running. No smoke, baby. Perfect. So it looks like we may have solved our problem here. I'll drive it for a couple of days and see what happens. So if you have any issues with your car smoking, consider changing your uh, PCV valve oil separator. Uh, and again, that's if you have no engine codes on, uh, indicating any overheating and you're not losing any coolant. It's a good place to start. It's a cheap way uh, to resolve the problem. And hey, if that doesn't resolve the problem, you only spent 60 bucks, okay? And then you can move on to the next thing. Uh, good luck and uh, hopefully uh, you fix your smoky car too. <laughs>